Hi there Virgo, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and sorry I'm a little bit late with your video but I'm going to get them done before I go live um, because I've been busy um, uh, updating my website that is important as well because we have a competition going now and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it go and have a look at the video uh, competition and you can win one of these um, decks with compliments from the publishers and uh, there's also a second prize and that is the vice versa deck because I said that in my life um, well, in one of my live sessions and you can win a, a vice versa deck but the first person will get the choice be between the shadow lands if they've got them they can have the ver vice versa and in the third place is somebody will win a free reading for uh, for 20 minutes go and have a look at the video and it is on how to make a visionary board and what else you have to do Remember, there is more information below the video. Also, with regards to the competition in the competition video, and um, uh, the begin date is now until the 30th of August. And I hope you will enjoy it. And please share with family and friends uh, for those that read cards or would love to learn to read cards because this deck is absolutely fantastic to learn with because it draws you in the vibrant the colorful and the clear so because it draws you in you want to keep on reading the book and getting back to the cards and welcome if you're new and welcome to my cyber angels thanks for coming back and awesome 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 it's gratitude all round thank you and this is my way of showing you I appreciate I appreciate your support okay I'm going to use the Shadowlands today and I hope you enjoyed the seven a month uh, forecast uh, the uh, an update on the yearly because of the COVID I thought right I'm going to see whether the the energy has changed and so you can compare it and last week um, generals and romance now in the romance readings Gemini is uh, uh, first and then it is Capricorn so I'm going to start doing something else uh, the zodiac sign that has the most likes and thumbs up and they will be number one number two and number three and carry on okay so this week I'm just going to do a psychic reading to start off with and then I will also um, use the cards and see whether it resonates with the psychic reading <coughs> okay remember this is a general reading and uh, if it doesn't resonate with you go and have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and please God speak to me and bring out good messages and I'm just shaking them as you can see and I'm just going to get into your energy Virgo this is your reading for the 1st till the 7th of May Wow and if you have anybody in the family that's a Gemini um, congratulations and I hope you enjoy the parties okay we're in the gem period so it's going to be a very busy period also learning and communication justice balance okay now what I feel for you Virgo is, is that you want to get going you don't want to stop um, you're doing things in haste you don't mind repenting in leisure <laughs> well apparently you haven't been sitting still in the COVID or locked up you are perfectionists you want things done perfectly perfectly and if, when it gets your interest you will do it perfectly as well otherwise you are sometimes a flutterer and you might be stuck in your head in some way um, if you have been locked uh, down and you haven't been able to go out freely some of us have 
because of our jobs or for other reasons then you will have enjoyed this time and you have rejuvenated now with this rejuvenation uh, you can start up projects I feel um, that you didn't want to return to you're finishing projects off and uh, you're going to start something new once the project is finished okay now let's have a look what the cards are saying we've got the ace of cups so there might be new love or passion coming in like I said you want to finish something off and start something new because you are passionate about things and once you've found your passion you go for it like a bat out of hell so it could be a new love it could be a new passion hobby something that you can nurture uh, could be a job it could be a relationship it could be a friendship or a hobby with a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces then we have the eight of Pentacles you will get recognition for your hard work you might start a new study or might spe start specializing um, looking for a job that you can specialize in in September I'm getting to hear September page of cups Wow the page of cups is Pisces so you might be interested in the spiritual world or psychic world intuitive world or you might meet a Pisces and the page of cups also brings news okay Wow and you've got the ace of wands this could be about a job or you could be meeting a Sagittarius Aries or Leo passion I was talking about passion here Wow so that's passion creativity a hobby I was also also talking about a hobby starting a new hobby and making your hobby your work now let's see what's underneath the deck and we've got the nine of Pentacles yes it will deliver money you're closing off one face like I said and you're going into a new face a better face financially or financial security you will have you might have invested in something and you're seeing the return now awesome so that's the shadow lands done I'm going to go back then in a minute and now I'm going to the mirror truth Lena Mun. the first card is the mountain yeah I've been to I told you you've been sitting down you don't really want to do anything um, if you've been locked down you've taken it easy and you've got the mountain you are seeing problems where there aren't any perhaps or you're making problems out of mo you're making mountains out of mole hills and you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the path only if you've got to meet deadlines right you have also the house like I said you've been sitting down and taking it easy if you've been in a lockdown you might have slumped down you felt safe at home and you've isolated yourself now is time to get out of isolation and protection and get back into the real world and um, generate new customers if you have a business or start generating new friends come out of your comfort zone okay you're going to cut with the past there you are you're going to cut off you're going to finish projects and you're going to harvest that's your nine of Pentacles you're going to harvest money I think you have made investments good stuff and you have the snake the snake means watch out for the snake in the grass there could be somebody not very trustworthy around you okay and at the bottom of the deck you are taking the warning seriously you've got the Sun very positive energy you're in the uh, what you call it spotlight and something is being illuminated 
uh, a birth, a new beginning, going up a next level at work or in relationship, a Leo might have an eye on you as well. You might be moving home or going on holiday. Okay, Virgo, now the first of cups, the first card you have on the first is the Ace of Cups. So something is beginning. Something uh, you get, uh, you're getting an offer. Something that you weren't aware of. <coughs> it might be a new passion, love, nurturing, or something sensual. Ooh, could be with uh, a counter, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Could be a job. Something that you're passionate about. Something that you can nurture. And don't see any problems because there aren't any. Now you've got number 21. Be creative. 3 is creative. And you've got the ace, uh, 8 of wands. This is the clover. So you're going to get news. You're going to receive news. And things are going to happen very fast. Very quickly. Lots of things. Boom, boom, boom. One after another. Okay. So don't create any problems. Take it step by step. Walk the path. You don't have to do anything in a hurry like climbing the mountain. Okay. Because you've got recognition. People have seen you working and you're in your money house and your strength house. Your power house. You might uh, get a pay rise. You might get a gift of money. Uh, you might uh, start a new study with the Eight of Pentacles. You've got recognition. Now, get out of that comfort zone and go and do something that you can enhance yourself with, like a new study. Now you've got the King of Hearts, and the King of Hearts is the King of Water, the King of Cups. The hearts are here. I hope you can see it. There you go. So you could be meeting, uh, if you're a man, you could be meeting a queen um, or lady uh, that is the has the status of the king. Um, she is business and career orientated. So perhaps that's, she's got an eye on you, okay? And uh, because they, that he, she sees that you can work really hard and you love what you're doing, you're good at it. Okay, don't exclude a Scorpio or Pisces. And this, if you are starting a relationship or a working partnership, you've got the four. This will be uh, built on proper foundations and come out of your comfort zone. Go out and um, generate new customers for your business or new friends. Okay. Beautiful card. And then we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, you've got a lot of water. A lot of water and a lot of pentacles. Okay. So you're going to get news. This could be about love or something that you're nurturing that you are nurturing to grow an investment in other words and you're cutting with the past and you've got the jack of coins here that's the page of ones again news you've got the ten so there is an ending a new beginning you're cutting a path forwards and you're harvesting so like I said it might be an investment that you are getting news that it is got rediment it's got a return coming rent or something I don't know how you call it investments then you've got the ace of wands so you might meet a fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo or you might start a new job or a promotion, definitely. Or you, it, you could start a passionate relationship. Now if you want this to turn out to be long term, 
then know your boundaries and know their boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are. Be careful. There is a snake in the grass. So if you are signing contracts with anybody or any for anything, for a house perhaps, or for a job, then read the small print. You've got the warning. Now you've got the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Clover. So somebody could be interviewing you um, for a job or somebody might be selling you a house okay it could be the Queen of Fire, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo and you've got a 7 here so luck is on your side luck is, is that you've been warned I think you're going to make fast improvements you're going to specialize in something that is what I'm feeling you want to have the rich and luxurious life you felt imprisoned Wow that's what I said as well you're isolating yourself again being confirmed the overall energy whatever you're doing and you're in with investments or working putting in the time you're going to reap the benefits harvesting okay the end of a face a new beginning you hold the key to unlock yourself so flap your wings stretch your wings and fly that's what I'm hearing you can do it new beginning a better beginning more money your invest investments are giving rediment okay you've got the ace of diamonds here Ooh, the ace of pentacles new job new house uh, new work new investments wow new beginning perhaps a new relationship with an earth sign now this is amazing you've got three aces crazy and you've got the sun moving home going on holiday you're in the limelight so spotlight and something is being illuminated contracts could be illuminated so watch out the small print you need more information whatever you do something will be built on proper foundations the four again four four uh, let's have a look where else did we have four and no that's it two fours so you've got a double number good 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 the angels are with you a birth hearing of a birth uh, the birth could be of a child or a project going up a next level in work or in relationship something is moving forward it is time now it is ten two minutes past two right lunch time is usually one till two so lunch time is over no more pools no more waiting no more delays get into action now the romance card for this week um, is let's have a look attraction you attract it, attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yes what you what you sow you shall reap that's what I'm hearing so don't have any doubt don't make any problems come out of your comfort zone and start showing yourself come into the limelight in the spotlight you'll get more clients you you are attractive people love you okay people want to know what you've been up to they've been missing you they know that you've been busy at home <laughs> you've been active alright you've been networking I think you might have worked from home right and your angel card is the peach angel feather secret desire yes your secret desire is coming to light 
The angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams. Hand them over for safekeeping. Well, it's coming to daylight, definitely. Big changes. Who has had three aces? Wow. Beautiful. You've got recognition. New start. Emotionally, actively, creatively. And again, the Ace of Pentacles. Money, money, money. So, the money makes the world go round. The sun is round. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Virgo. Please like and share and have a look at the videos. Have a look what your seven month update video is saying or the romance video. You might be meeting a water sign, fire sign or an earth sign. Those are the significant people and the uh, specific uh, um, is the page of diamonds and the queen of this earth and the queen of fire and the king of hearts. The queen of fire is a Leo and you've got the sun. Okay, Leo is prominent in the whole reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and I hope you join in in the competition and in the live sessions. I'll go out live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. There are free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by donation. Thank you, take care and enjoy your week. Thank you.